Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Energy First Golf. So today in this video, we're going to answer the age-old question: Should I use a interlock or should I use a overlap grip to swing the golf club? Now, if you guys follow this channel, we have a special video is just regarding the style of the golf grips. The truth is, when you ask, um, should I use a interlock or should I use overlap? That's the two different styles how you hold the club. Now, remember, when you talk about grip, you're talking about style, functionality, workability, and category. But today, we're just going to answer the questions most because uh, most viewers ask me, hey, um, why do we at Energy First Golf, Energy First Impact Later only teach us beginners or from a learning perspective, the overlap grip? Why we don't recommend for beginners for amateurs use the interlocked so today we're going to answer that question and also a little bit advertisement we have GC quad now in our Academy GC quad is really good indoor simulation um, we don't use trackman because trackman is for outdoor GC quads for indoor give you very good data 25 sets of numbers all right so interlock as you can see my lee hand over here this is interlock okay and overlap overlap means the pinky can go in between this valley here between the index finger and the middle finger or some people try to put on top of it me personally i go back and forth okay just depends on the day of the feeling okay but this is still considered overlap now we talked about those different styles like jim ferry 2.0 Arnold Palmer 1.5 baseball grips but if you want to check out that video it's going to be in the link below today we're just going to talk about why an energy first impact later we don't not we do not teach beginners to use the interlock and we don't recommend it really for most amateurs okay now remember most beginners most amateurs when you learn golf we use this term, I'm sure a lot of you follow this channel, we talked about power struggle, power contradictions. We already know your Lee hand will be your left hand. Well, obviously, if you're lefty, your right hand. So there's your gloved hand on the Lee side. Also, when you swing the golf club, your Lee side, which is your left side, has to initiate the downswing. Obviously, we talked about weight transfer, core rotation, release. So, as a teaching system, we recommend you train your lee side more. So, in other words, when you grip the club with all of your fingers that's on the grip, it's highly recommended because why? Most people, if you're right-handed player, <laughs> your right arm is going to be more dominant, more power. You got more feeling. But for golf, the lead arm is the opposite. So we want to train all the fingers here to increase pressure recognition. Not strength. Now, obviously, you can work on grip pressure and strength. But importantly is the pressure recognition. So in other words, right now, I want to make sure... I have a lot of connection on the lee side so when I swing the golf club I feel connected okay this is very very important then when you put this hand on this hand is just going to remember this hand when I relax right now I have a natural curvature of the fingers all I'm going to do I'm going to wrap the club very nice and snug not stressed out about controlling the club okay so as you can see right now I have a very nice and snug feeling if you guys watch this video the snake so now I have connection but remember the idea is that the lee side has to have a lot more connection because you're swinging from right to left and really if you look at next two pictures and the next video with Freddie Couples and the two most recent winners on LPGA.
very sure I know for a fact when they were young, they actually use it a lot. Okay, a lot of you guys, if you started playing golf young, you probably started with in a lot. But if you want to increase better release, I'll highly recommend you go to overlap. Okay, now, as you can see right now, I'm always going to feel my left side more. You can see I actually let it go. Because why? I have the confidence knowing that this is connected much better. Because really, if you think about it, if you use in a, over, um, in a lot, this finger is actually not touching the club. Okay? Now, here's something really think about. I know a lot of people say, well, what about Jack? What about Tiger? They all use in a lot. And the truth is, you can do yourself, uh, help yourself to learn if you do a research, really most LPGA Tour player and PGA Tour player, 50% use overlap and 50% use interlock. And I can make an argument, I would believe most professionals actually use overlap. Okay, so with NH First Golf, the way how we teach, remember when you learn golf, it's all about learning. Our teaching system is gonna help you understand how do you take the proper steps how do you train your body in the correct order? So you got to train the left arm more. Now, if you are in the third stage of learning golf, which is spin and trajectory control, this interlock grip will allow you to swing a fable much easier. Okay, and this is another reason why Jack and Tiger uses the interlock. Because they actually like to see the fay ball. Okay? But it does not mean you cannot swing the draw or the fay with both grips. You can. But when it's easier, because why? When I have in a lot, I can actually control the. Gotta make sure you have the ball there. The release of the right hand or control. The closure rate of the club. We already know if you try to hit a fade, the closure rate of the club is going to be a little bit slower. There's your fade. As you can see, the ball went to the right. Okay? And the truth is, sometimes if I want to hit a fade, I'm playing an analog. Sometimes if I want to hit a draw, I do that. And sometimes if I want to... Maybe hit a stray ball. See, I use the word hit again. Swing the stray ball. I might go back and forth. Just depends on the condition, what I'm dealing with. Where's the wind? What's my distance? Do I want to cut down my distance? But remember, why we do this video is that from a learning and teaching perspective, what has to happen first? So you as a beginner or novice or amateur, you have to ask yourself, is my lead arm connected properly? Okay. Because we already know if you have a power struggle, which is most people, you're very sensitive with your right arm. You will push from the right side much easier if you lock your hands. And the truth is when you do lock your hands, most of you tend to grip, depth grip on it. Okay. So we don't want this lock, even though when you have inner lock, we're not talking about really lock lock. It's just a matter of a connection. Okay? So that's the reason why we do not teach or we do not recommend amateurs or beginners use interlock grip because you want to learn the left side, left arm pressure, left side connection before you go to this manipulation. This right side manipulation is a third stage, which is spin and trajectory control. All right, so we're going to end right here. If you have any questions, leave a comment and don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel right here. And we have two recommended video and also we have a video regarding the uh, style, the grip category and workability. All right, so see you next time.